Hi guys, see you again in chapter 2. So this is the second part of subtopic 2.1, Bohr Atomic Model. So guys, let's start. So in this part, we are going to learn about line spectrum and continuous spectrum. And then we are going to learn about series in hydrogen atomic emission and Ryberg equation. Okay guys, so next we look at spectrum. So spectrum actually is a range of electromagnetic radiation with respect to its wavelength or frequency. So this is the definition of spectrum. Okay, so we have two types of spectrum. The first one, we have continuous spectrum. And then the second one, we have line spectrum. Okay, for continuous spectrum, continuous spectrum is a spectrum of radiation that contain all wavelength. Ah, dia ada semua jenis wavelength. Okay, so... This continuous spectrum also no definite line that separate the color. For example, that relate to continuous spectrum is rainbow. Ah, biasa awak pernah tengok rainbow kan? Ah, pelangi. Ah, pelangi ni kalau awak tengok antara satu color dengan satu color dia tidak ada specific line yang memisahkan antara warna merah, warna orange, warna kuning. Nampak macam sama je kan? Ah, tak ada line yang memisahkan. So itu adalah continuous spectrum. Okay, and then kita pergi kepada line spectrum. So, line spectrum is a spectrum of radiation that consists of discrete line of specific wavelength. For example, here kita ada hydrogen spectrum. Okay, so we have two types of line spectrum. The first one, we have emission spectrum. And the second one is absorption spectrum. So, Emission spectrum that we are going to focus after this for absorption spectrum, kita tidak ada dalam syllabus lah. Okay guys, so after this I will show you about emission spectrum. So this is the example of diagram that relate to this spectrum. So this is continuous spectrum, you see uh, no boundary or no definite line that separate the colors. But look here for the line spectrum. We have the line. Ha, nampak ni? We have the discrete line that contains specific wavelength. Nampak? Ada satu line merah, biru, hijau. Nampak? Ada line-line. So, ini adalah jenis line spectrum. Okay guys. So, this is hydrogen spectrum that you need to learn in this subtopic. So, what is hydrogen spectrum? So, hydrogen spectrum consists of discrete line of specific wavelength. Uh, so, you can calculate the wavelength for every single line. A line is formed when electron drop from higher energy level to lower energy level. So, it means that this electron will emit energy. So, the energy that you calculate later should negative value. Uh, so, you akan dapat dalam negative sign lah sebab electron drops. Okay. And then the discrete line reflect that energy is quantized. So quantized means that every single line yang dia ada, uh, yang ada dalam hydrogen spectrum dia ada tenaga yang ter tentu. Ah, uh, quantized means specific value. So this is the hydrogen spectrum. Okay, contoh yang paling simple. Alright, and then bila dia melalui prism kat sini, so dia akan hasilkan line spectrum. Ha, so, this yang kita nak fokus, yang kita nak belajar after this. Okay, how the formation of hydrogen spectrum? So, just now you already look at the diagram. I will explain to you the formation of hydrogen spectrum. Okay, the first step is the energy is supplied to the hydrogen gas in the discharge tube. So, you can refer back to the diagram just now. Okay, so kita supply tenaga. Kemudian yang kedua, electron of the hydrogen atom will absorb energy and excite to higher energy level. Okay, 
Kita tahu dia berada pada level yang rendah Kemudian dia akan absorb energy Sebab bila dia nak naik kepada level yang tinggi Elektron perlu serap tenaga ha, kan? Macam kita nak naik tangga Kita kena ada tenaga Seterusnya adalah Third step at the excited state Elektron are unstable So saya dah kata pada tempat yang tinggi Dia takkan stable Okay So what happen the electron will fall to a lower level and produce radiation in the form of light or photon of a specific wavelength. Ah so bila dia jatuh ke bawah ke lower energy level dia akan hasilkan tenaga. Ah dia akan bebaskan tenaga. So that energy yang kita akan kira biasanya Okay, menggunakan formula delta E just now. Okay, and then light with a specific wavelength fall on the photograph plate and line are recorded. So, if you refer to the diagram before this, so dia akan produce line spectrum. So, itu yang kita akan kira dia punya energy, kita boleh kira dia punya wavelength and the frequency. Alright guys, so you already know how the formation of hydrogen spectrum. So this is atomic hydrogen emission series. So we have five series of hydrogen emission. Okay, so the first one kita ada Lyman series, Balmer series, Pastian series, Bracket series and Fun series. Okay, sebut kita silent P eh. Kita tak sebut P fun. Ha, kita sebut fun. Alright. So we have five series of hydrogen emission. But the ground state. ah The ground state for all these series is different. Okay. Yang mana yang ground state tu yang ini class. Ini. Ha, ini refer kepada. Okay. So N2 tu adalah kita punya ground state. Alright, tempat di mana elektron itu jatuh. Ingat, ground state kat sini adalah tempat di mana elektron itu akan jatuh. Kemudian excited state ah yang ni. Okey, ini adalah dia punya excited state. Ah uh, so excited state boleh jadi macam-macam lah. Okey guys. So ingat you need to remember the ground state for each emission series. So Lyman the ground state must equal to 1. Balmer the ground state equal to 2 past turn 3 bracket 4 fun 5. It means that if fun series the electron must fall down to n equal to 5. Maksudnya pada 5th energy level. For bracket electron will fall down to 4th energy level. Past turn 3rd energy level. Balmer Second energy level and the lowest one adalah Lyman Di mana the ground state adalah satu So this is the diagram for the hydrogen spectrum The energy level diagram Arrow-arrow dekat sini melambangkan movement of electron Or transition of electron from one energy level to another energy level See? Lyman series, nampak tak? Ni elektron yang pertama Okay, movement of the first elektron Okay, line yang ni refer kepada uh, Movement of yang pertama First transition Okay, elektron yang membuat transition yang pertama lah Okay, so line yang ni pula dipanggil second line Okay, di mana elektron membuat Second transition daripada N equal to 3 Kepada N equal to 1 So you lihat dekat sini Untuk Lyman series All the electron will fall down to N equal to 1 For Balmer series You see dia akan drop to N equal to 2 While Pastian series It will drop to N equal to 3 And Bracket series It will drop to N equal to 4 So ingat Line yang dimaksudkan dekat sini refer kepada transition of electron from one energy level to another. Okay. Contoh yang first line ni, dia buat transition daripada N equal to 2 
kepada n equal to 1. Nampak? Boleh tak? Okay. And then kalau you tengok kat sini yang warna merah for balma. The red line. So the red line refer kepada movement of electron from third energy level to second energy level. See? Ah, uh, So this is the movement of electron that you need to understand. Okay, so ingat for red color of Balmer series here refer to the first line of Balmer series. Okay, first line of Balmer series. Ah, uh, kalau yang warna green tu refer kepada second line of Balmer series and so on. Uh, okay, kalau yang the black color here refer kepada Fifth line of Balmer series. Ah, so kalau fifth line of Balmer series, what is the transition of electron? Apa dia? Untuk fifth line. So you akan dapat daripada seventh energy level to second energy level. So this is the transition of electron for the fifth line. See? Boleh faham? Okay guys, uh, selain daripada ground state of the 5 series, what you need to know is the spectrum region for each series. For Lyman, we have ultraviolet. For Balmer, visible. For Pastian, bracket and fun, the spectrum region is infrared. Okay, yang membezakan antara lima ni cuma Balmer saja kelas. Why? Because Balmer is visible light. Visible light means it, uh, kalau dalam bahasa Melayunya dia adalah cahaya nampak. So that's why if you refer to this energy level diagram, apa you nampak lihat kat sini, Balmer series kalau you lihat dia ada warna. Uh, dia ada red line, green line, blue line and purple line and start from fifth line dia dah start warna black okay but if you look at Lyman, Pastian and Bracket series no color at all okay so bila you dapat soalan nanti bila dia beri you all colors of the line it means that it must be Balmer series because Balmer series is visible region di mana kita boleh lihat warna-warna yang terbentuk. Visible tu adalah cahaya nampak. Boleh kelas? Okay guys, so now we want to relate the energy level diagram just now with the line spectrum. Okay, if you look at the above diagram here, we have the la the energy level diagram for Balmer series. Okay, so ini untuk Balmer. Okay, kenapa? Sebab look at the transition of electron drops to n equal to two. So this uh, diagram we call as energy level diagram. Okay, saya ulang. Ini adalah energy level diagram. So, how to transform energy level diagram to line spectrum? Ah, So, ini yang kita panggil sebagai line spectrum. Okay, macam mana kita nak baca? Alright. So, untuk line yang warna merah, kalau you tengok kat sini, nampak eh? So, line yang warna merah ni, so this is the line. Okay, so actually ini refer kepada first line of Balmer series. So first line of Balmer series is the movement of electron from n equal to 3 to n equal to 2. Ah, so this is the first line of Balmer series. Okay, look at the green line here. Okay, so the green line here refer to this line spectrum. So it means that this is second line of Balmer series. So second line of Balmer series refer to the movement of electron from n equal to 4 to n equal to 2. Nampak? Ah, sebab kita tahu Balmer dia punya transition of electron Mesti jatuh kepada dua. Boleh nampak tak guys? Okay, kemudian yang warna purple ni guys. Saya terus pergi yang terakhir. 
So yang warna purple ni adalah fourth line of Balmer series. So what is the transition guys? Ah, you kena tahu eh benda ni. Kalau tak susah ni. Okay dia adalah daripada transition n equal to 6 to n equal to 2. So you kena tahu the transition of electron based on the line spectrum. So sebab tu you kena faham dia punya ground state. Ah, Kalau you tak ingat ground state dia dia agak sukar sebenarnya. Boleh? Okay, kemudian kita boleh relate dengan this formula that we already learned in the first part of 2.1 which is delta E equal to H nu equal to H C over lambda. So as we know that guys, if the change of energy decrease, the wavelength will increase. Uh, so because wavelength and delta E is inversely proportional. So, kalau lah delta E increase, frequency will increase, wavelength will decrease. So, sebab tu kalau you lihat pada energy level diagram here, tengok energy level diagram kat sini, dia punya line, if you draw the line N equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, makin lama makin rapat. Kenapa makin rapat? Because of the wavelength. Nampak? Higher energy, wavelength decrease. So that's why when you draw the energy level diagram, you need to draw it more closes. Ah, makin dekat, makin dekat, makin dekat. Boleh? Okay guys, so this is the important uh, information that I want to remind you. So for the line spectrum, cara nak baca dia, okay, cara nak baca dia tengok pada line yang paling jauh. Okay, line yang paling jauh tu lah adalah first line. So yang warna merah ni adalah first line. Yang warna hijau ni second line. Okay. Yang warna blue tu adalah third line and yang warna purple tu adalah fourth line. Okay, so you baca daripada yang paling jauh kepada yang paling dekat. Okay, cara baca ini yang first kali. Okay, tadi saya dah explain uh, higher energy. Okay, so lagi rendah wavelength dia, lagi tinggi frekuensi. Ya. Ini vice versa lah. Wavelength increase, frequency decrease, energy will decrease. Okay, so makin dekat dengan first line, energy lower. Okay, makin dekat dengan fourth line, energy higher. Boleh faham? So, ini you boleh kira sebenarnya untuk lihat perbezaan dia. Okay guys, now we look at the example of question. Okay, we have the line spectrum here. So, dia dah bagi you all Pastion series. Look, Pastion series. Ah, So, dalam kepala awak sepatutnya mesti dah ting, ah, dah keluar dah. Apa maklumat yang penting yang ada dalam Pastion series yang you kena faham? Ah, tadi Madam kata, kena hafalkan dia punya ground state. Ah, Pastion series, apakah dia punya ground state? Ah, you kena faham tu. Apa dia? So, ground state dia adalah N equal to 3. Ah, Pastion, di mana the electron will drop to N equal to 3. Okay, so kita ada A until E. So, you need to identify which of this line is the first line. So, A adalah first line. Ah, Madam kata yang paling jauh tu adalah first. Ah, so, dia tak semestinya start daripada sebelah kiri ya. Macam tadi Madam bagi example start sebelah kiri. First line. Ah, dia juga boleh jadi dekat right side. Okay, it means that the line B should be our second line and then C, third line and D, fourth line and E adalah fifth line. Okay, now we read the question. The question asks you to identify which line in the past tense series correspond to the longest wavelength of photon. Longest wavelength. Ah, so you can faham relationship just now. So we know that 
Makin ke A Kita tahu dia punya Line makin jauh Betul tak? It means that the wavelength higher Okay So we know that wavelength and energy Is inversely proportional So energy will decrease Nampak? So kat sini dah boleh nampak dah kelas A tu sebab dia makin jauh So that's why wavelength dia makin panjang Makin besar So the answer should be line A Okay B Describe the transition that give rise to this line So A ni kita tahu dia adalah first line ha, So kalau first line Movement of electron dari mana ke mana So kita tahu it will fall down to N equal to 3 Ataupun third energy level So kalau first line dia mesti start dengan atas sikit daripada 3 lah Uh, apa atas sikit daripada tiga? Uh, empat. Betul tak? Okay. So, electron make a transition from fourth energy level to third energy level. Ah, uh, Boleh nampak eh? Okay. So, itu adalah first line of past chain series. Sebab kita tahu dia akan jatuh dekat tiga. So, bermaksud dia first line dia mesti start daripada empat. Empat ke tiga first line. Kalau second line, lima ke tiga. Kalau third line, 6 ke 3 and so on ha, Macam tu Okay and then describe the transition of electron That lead to the formation of line C ha, Tengok line C Ni adalah line C So line C adalah third line Ingat balik third line So kalau A tadi 4 kepada 3 Kalau B 5 kepada 3 Kalau C ah From 6 energy level To Third energy level uh, Kalau you tak dapat bayangkan You boleh draw the energy level Diagram Okay So Electron make a transition From six energy level To third energy level Okay guys So next we look at Ryberg equation uh, Before this We already know the Ryberg equation constant. Uh, so now we have the other Ryberg constant that you can use here which is so this Ryberg equation is used to calculate wavelength of the emitted photon in a given series. Uh, before this we already know how to calculate wavelength by using uh, change of energy delta E which is hasi over lambda. Okay This is the other formula that you can use to calculate wavelength by using Ryberg equation. So this is the formula 1 over lambda equal to Ryberg constant times with 1 over n1 squared minus 1 over n2 squared. Ah nampak macam sama dengan formula delta E, kan? Ah tapi lain kelas. Apa yang lain dia yang ini? So you need to be careful here This one you need to take note Di mana Lambda must more than Zero Lambda cannot negative The wavelength cannot be in negative value So that's why N1 should less than N2 Okay But for the delta E just now We need to consider the Initial and final uh, Permulaan ataupun Pengakhiran elektron tersebut Di mana bermula, di mana berakhir But for the wavelength, you tidak perlu Tahu dekat mana dia bermula atau berakhir Yang you kena faham Nilai N1 should less Than N2, nilai N1 Mesti lagi kecil daripada N2 Baru you punya wavelength Akan dapat More than zero, maksudnya Wavelength you takkan dapat negatif Okay, so N 1 dengan N2 nilai dia mestilah nombor whole number Number 1, 2, 3 and so on Depends on the question And look the Ryberg constant that we have here So the Ryberg constant uh, If we use for the energy We use 2.18 times 10 power of negative 18 But for this wavelength For the Ryberg equation here The Ryberg constant should be 1.0 97 times 10 power of 7 per meter So this one also You tak perlu hafal Sebab dah ada dalam list of constant value Okay So but you need to be careful If you want to use this formula The value of Ryberg constant should be this one 
If relate to energy, the value of Rybert constant should be 2.1 8 times 10 power of negative 18. Okay, guys? Okay, so now this is the example of question that relate to uh, Ryberg equation just now. Okay, this question asks you to calculate wavelength. So, wavelength refer kepada lambda tadi kan? Ha, kita dah tahu kita nak kira wavelength. Berapa nilai dia? Okay, for the third line. Third line of Balmer series. Ah, Remember? For the Balmer series, the electron will drop to n equal to 2. Ah, So, that one is the ground state of Balmer series. So, saya dah kata ground state tolong hafal. Sebab setiap series dia adalah berbeza. But, this question nak cari untuk third line glass. Ah, ingat balik. Kalau... First line Balmer daripada mana elektron tu bergerak? Okey, yang pasti dia pasti jatuh dekat n equal to 2. Kalau first line daripada mana? Ah atas sikit daripada 2 lah iaitu n sama dengan 3. Ini kalau first line. Kalau second line? Ah second line mestilah tinggi sikit daripada first. So yang pasti dia memang akan jatuh dekat 2. So mesti n kepada n 4 kepada n equal to 2. Ah, maksudnya daripada fourth energy level drop to second energy level. Okay, next. How about the third line? Ah, dia mestilah lagi tinggi daripada second. Betul tak? Dia akan drop dekat 2 juga. So, dia daripada n 5. So, this is the transition. So, it means that the third line of Balmer series refer kepada transition N5 kepada N2 ha, So yang ini yang you kena faham So yes Guna formula 1 over lambda tadi You just substitute all the value Okay So awak masukkan nilai ni ke dalam formula ni Nampak eh So kat sini tolong take note ha, Ni kalau boleh tulis lah Supaya awak faham Okey, tadi kita dah tahu third line ni adalah N5 atau fifth energy level to second energy level. So, kita masukkan dan kita tahu N1 should less than N2. So, that's why N1 kita adalah 2, N2 kita adalah 5. So, you press your calculator. Ah, Be careful dekat sini 1 over lambda eh. So, nanti awak akan dapat kat sini 1 over lambda. Okey, yang ini awak tekan calculator yang bahagian ni dulu. So, awak akan dapat yang ni. Nampak? So, ini sebenarnya adalah 1 per lambda. So, nilai 1 per lambda adalah yang ini. So, macam mana nak dapatkan nilai lambda sahaja? Ha, so, bermaksud you kena bahagikan 1 bahagikan dengan nilai yang ni kat bawah ni. And then, you akan dapat this value in meter. Okay? Dan biasanya soalan nak dalam nanometer. Ah biasa soalan dia suka tanya dalam nanometer. So macam mana nak cari dalam nanometer? How to convert meter to nanometer? So you akan darab 10 kuasa 9. Ah sebab kita tahu nanometer ni nanti adalah 10 kuasa negatif 9. So meter kepada nanometer darab 10 kuasa 9. Okay? Okay guys, so now we look at the other version of example. So an electron in the hydrogen atom make a transition from higher energy level to n equal to 2. Ah, nampak eh? Daripada tinggi kepada rendah which is n equal to 2. So we know that kalau dia jatuh kepada n equal to 2, it means that this is Balmer series because the ground state is dual. If the photon emitted has wavelength of 410.2 nanometer, what is the value of N for the higher energy level? Okay, so dia nak kira N untuk higher energy level. So, you dah ada wavelength guys. Okay, so wavelength yang kita ada adalah 410.2 nanometer. Okay, so dekat sini... 
awak boleh lihat formula yang kita akan guna adalah formula yang sama ni lah 1 over lambda equal to Rybert constant 1 over n1 squared minus 1 over n2 squared and you need to remember that n1 should less than n2 so kita dah boleh faham dekat sini n1 kita adalah 2 so what we need to do we need to find the value of n2 which is the higher energy level ok guys just uh, nak bagi tahu lagi sekali lambda dekat sini when you use this formula the unit of lambda dekat sini must be in meter Ah, that's why kalau you tengok yang example yang before this the wavelength that will get the first adalah in meter lepas tu baru kita boleh convert dalam nano meter so here in the question we have the wavelength in nanometer so when you want to substitute this wavelength into this formula you kena convert dulu dalam meter ok now we substitute all the value here kita masukkan nilai before we calculate the n2 ok guys so kita dah masukkan all the value here so look the wavelength here 410.2 times 10 power of negative 9 so we know that nano nano refer kepada 10 kuasa negative 9 so be careful wavelength here should be in meter ok so you akan dapat dulu dalam meter baru you akan convert dalam nanometer but now dia dah bagi dalam nanometer you kena convert dalam meter so the Rybert constant that we use is 1.097 times 10 power of 7 ok so n1 we already know 2 and we want the n2 so you need you kena selesaikan mathematically ah, agak susah ya sebab dia akan banyak matematik punya jalan kerja yang you kena buat so what you need to do apa yang awak buat awak selesaikan dulu bahagian ni Ha, ni selesaikan nombor 1 tekan kalkulator kemudian you bring the Rybert constant ni bawa-bawa bahagi dengan Rybert constant step yang kedua bahagikan ok kemudian awak pindahkan yang ni ok ke sebelah sana nampak ni step yang ketiga kemudian jawapan yang awak dah dapat kat sini answer yang awak dah dapat kat sini awak pindahkan ke sebelah sini ok ni step yang keempat awak tambah ha, answer yang awak dah dapat tu tambah dengan ni ok tambah dengan yang ni kemudian awak akan dapat 1 over n2 squared ha, berapa answer dia ok after you solve the fourth step kemudian awak nak cari n2 so yang ni nanti you kena bahagi so you dapatkan N2 dengan punca kuasa pula ha, yang satu bahagi berapa tu ok baru you akan dapat N2 adalah equal to 6 so this is the answer for higher energy level ok so you kena bermain dengan matematik ya saya tak akan ajar dekat sini lah sebab dia akan ambil masa nanti boleh ya Ok guys, that's all for second part of 2.1. Thank you. Bye guys.